everybody, welcome back to Sticky Floor Friday, the internet movie show going to Las Vegas this weekend, and as I do in pretty much all aspects of my life, I'm going to take some advice from Wesley Snipes, and always bet on black. And then not report those winnings to the IRS. Can you believe Blade is in jail? Hilarious. Also, we all know, in Blackjack, when I get an 11, I always... You double you down. Do double down, yes. God, I love the way he says that. Oh, and hey, look, Vince Vaughn. What a nice transition, because Vince Vaughn has a movie coming out today. It's called The Dilemma. It stars him and Kevin James as two guys with impossibly hot wives, as is pretty commonplace in these types of comedies. you got the normal guy with just the super hot wife. And uh, surprisingly, Kevin James's wife is cheating on him. Vince Vaughn witnesses this and then goes to outlandish lengths to not tell his friend, but instead stalk the guy's wife and get in these stupid, stupid-ass situations that only happen in movies and result in funny jokes like painful urination. Now, I hate movies like this that take a simple misunderstanding or a person with a secret and go out of their way to avoid the obvious solution to the problem, which would be sit the guy down and either tell him his wife is cheating on him or don't, and that's it. Now, obviously you're saying... If he did that, there wouldn't be much of a movie, would there? But I think there would be. It would just be a different movie that probably didn't involve people getting hit in the balls with stuff. So, no dilemma here. Skip this mess. Wait, 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 wait. One more thing, one more thing. It is not lost on me that Vince Vaughn starred in Fred Claus and Ron Howard, who directed The Dilemma, also directed The Grinch, two of my worst Christmas movies of all time. Double X this movie. And finally, we've got Green Hornet, a very strange movie with an even stranger path to the big screen. It's been in development since the 90s, when George Clooney was supposed to star in it, then he dropped out, Greg Kinnear was supposed to star, then he dropped out, Mark Wahlberg was supposed to star, with Michelle Gondry attached to direct, it was supposed to be his first movie, that all blew up, fell apart. Then in the 2000s, Kevin Smith came along and said, I would like to write the Green Hornet. He sat down, and uh, then he decided, ah, you know what? I really should make Jersey Girl instead. So he went and did that. Uh, then in the, the mid-2000s, we got Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg showing up, saying, hey, we wrote uh, Superbad and Pineapple Express, we should write Green Hornet. So they did that. They got a director, Stephen Chow. He was also supposed to star as Cato. Well, then, Stephen Chow dropped out. But then, all of a sudden, Michelle Gondry shows back up. So he's back in the picture. <laughs> this is crazy, right? Then, they get Nicolas Cage to star as the bad guy, but Nicolas Cage apparently wanted to do, like, a Jamaican accent, and they were like, uh, no. So they got rid of him, they brought in Christoph Waltz, and here we are, the movie's finally coming out, but wait, the release date for this movie has been moved no less than five times. Five times! Season of the Witch was only moved once. Holy crap! Can you believe this movie is even coming out? Oh, I'm exhausted. Now, this is Seth Rogen's first movie since 2009, which was Funny People, uh, and I thought that was his best performance. Now, a lot of people, I think, got a little tired of Seth Rogen. Maybe it was because of his laugh. Uh, but uh, I like Seth Rogen. And uh, this is a strange choice, kind of a departure for him, but even the trailers kind of show him doing his same old thing. So if you like Seth Rogen, that's a plus. If you don't like him, this probably isn't going to change your mind. I'm going to do something crazy here. I have faith in Michelle Gondry, and I have faith in Seth Rogen. I might be completely off, and all the warning signs are there, but I am... I'm gonna recommend this movie. I think it's gonna be a good time. Alright, time for three questions. Number one, who are you most tired of, Vince Vaughn or Seth Rogen? Or neither, or both. Number two, what's your favorite gambling movie? I have a feeling a lot of people are gonna say Rounders. And number three, there is no number three. Instead, let's just admire Natalie Portman for a little bit, shall we? Hmm. Natalie. Have the scotch on the rocks. Please, any scotch will do. As long as it's not a blend, of course. Uh, single malt. Glenlivet, Glenfiddich, perhaps. Maybe a Glengow. Any Glen. 